Hi, my name is Tomas and you're watching Casual DIY channel. In today's episode we'll be checking out this wet and dry shop vac from VacMaster. Check out the video. So recently my shop vac uh, basically died and I had to pick up something new. Uh, the market is quite big and it was very difficult to pick something up. But as you know all my tools are budget uh, tools hence uh, this needed to have a good price tag and in the end I decided for this one is a VacMaster 30 litre wet and dry vacuum cleaner that actually does have a few cool features so first of all uh, dealing with a lot of dust in my workshop it needs to have enough power so 1500 watts a motor should be plenty for that task so let's have a look what bits and pieces you can expect in the box two and a half meter hose, a floor nozzle, then you've got a handle, a dust bag, well this is just a standard one, um, the VacMaster actually have got two different types of these dust bags, one is for normal general dust and the other ones are for fine dust, so basically something that you would produce in your workshop, uh, hence I've actually bought some extra ones, they're not the cheapest ones to be fair, um, six pieces for about 14 or 15 quid, um, so quite expensive next in the box you get some adapters uh, you've got the crevice tool two extension ones then you've got the foam filter uh, that's for when you're actually using the the vacuum as a um, uh, for wet vacuuming uh, then you've got some round dust brush and obviously your cartridge filter. Now the filter that comes with the shop vac is actually a, a basic one, right? So don't expect a fantastic results or performance. Hence I've picked up another filter that fits into the shop vac. It's HP, let's have a look, HEPA filter that in theory filters up to 0.3 microns. So that's, um, that's fairly good. And the shop vac costed about 80 quid trouble is the filter itself costed 20 so as you can see um, it's not one of the cheapest things to buy although I am trying to improve the air quality of my um, workshop hence I invested in that um, other shop vacs that actually had filters like that were far more expensive and hence it made just sense to try the cheaper vac with a good filter we'll see if that was a mistake or not in the near future so that's my filtration system and um, this shop vac but this also comes with a um, quite an interesting feature it's got a uh, power tool sink socket so basically it can uh, it's got a uh, power socket in the top um, of this vac so you can plug in your sander whatever and uh, when you start your sander the vac will start automatically so that's a really interesting and cool feature that I'm definitely going to be using. But now it's time to take it out of the box and see what we're dealing with, see what materials it's made of and if it's actually working. So the vac itself is actually quite light which is always good when you're trying to move it around your workshop it's 9.7 kilograms the power cord is fairly thick which is always a good indication of quality and it's five meter long as i mentioned before the shop vac comes with a two and a half meter long hose and it's 35 millimeters in diameter the tanks capacity are not the greatest you've got 23 liters of wet capacity and 19 liters of dry capacity allegedly according to the producer um, the airflow is 65 liters per second and the suction kpi is 17. so as you can imagine there's a bit of assembly required so um, i think most of the parts probably are located inside so how to actually take the motor off so you've got nice uh, clips over here of doing like so take it out and then you can lift the head I um, also forgot to mention this um, this shop vac has got a feature of a 
blower as well so you can obviously suck and blow <laughs> that doesn't sound right does it <laughs> so as you can see this is the uh, air filtration cartridge which I'm going to be changing to the one that I've paid 20 quid for and I think it actually should come um, as a standard to be fair but there you go hopefully it will do a good job on the head as well as you can see um, basically that's your power socket there obviously it's an English socket as we are I live in the UK if you didn't know and on top of here you can see that's the power switch in the middle obviously it's off uh, number one is the vac is on and number two is when it uses the power socket and um, to run it off your um, power tool so as I already got the access to the filter, I'm actually going to swap it over for the one that I've bought separately for uh, better dust collection and uh, better filtration. So basically there's a, uh, a screw at the top, you just undo it, unlock it, take it out and just uh, take the cartridge out. I think it's just a, like a friction fit, so I'm going to swap this one. For this little beauty and that's good to go quite simple isn't it okay so the the drum itself is stainless steel it's uh, it's quite thick actually so hopefully that's an indication that will work properly at the bottom here you've got the release valve when you uh, when you're basically collecting water with the shop vac you can just release the water through here okay so the hose I think this is just a standard hose it's not uh, reinforced with anything so the quality is okay it's a normal cheapish hose really nothing nothing major next we've got the uh, extension for the uh, power tools you're going to be using with it next that's the actual handle that will uh, screw on in a second so the shop vac also comes with some wheels um, obviously you know you can move it freely around your workshop and we'll see how well they work but actually my plan is to use this shop vac as my uh, cyclone system so uh, basically I will have an additional container that will um, store uh, the dust itself so will not actually go into the shop vac itself and I'm going to be using a, a cyclone attachment for it so if you're interested and you want to see how it works um, make sure to subscribe to my channel because that video will probably come out next week or the week after so you can have a look at the build as mentioned before we've got one dust bag but this is not for the fine dust and that's the foam filter that goes on the filter itself of the shop vac when you're actually using it as a, as a wet uh, vacuum right then so let's put it together first of all we'll start with the wheels Connecting the hose is also quite simple, you got a notch there as you guide and then twist and that's locked in place so that's quite good obviously that turns around for uh, easier manoeuvrability. I uh, forgot to mention that the power socket can work with um, equipment up to 1400 watts. And there you go, putting it together quite easily, let's see how it works. Okay, so the good thing, it works. Second good thing, it sucks. <laughs> the suction is quite powerful. But a big minus is very, very loud. It's not as loud as my old um, shop vac, but still this is quite loud. So definitely don't use it after 10 o'clock at night because your neighbors will be calling the police. 
Um, other than that, let's check out if it's actually going to suck any dust in. I've got a nice pile in the corner and see how it goes. So, <clears throat> so as you've seen, it sucked up the dust quite nice. Obviously, the bigger pieces will not go through the house, and this vacuum is not designed to pull up uh, pieces of that size. But all the dust and small particles, no issues whatsoever. So now it's time to check out if it actually works with a sander. So let's plug it in and see how the outer system, outer on system works. So uh, we we'll just plug it in there. We switch to uh, option number two, and the hose fell off. So as you can see, um, that option is very good. Um, as I've switched on the power on the sander, the vacuum came on automatically straight away, no delays. And when I switched it off, it still was running for a few seconds. Obviously that's to make sure that the hose basically is clear of any dust. So yeah, it's working and it's working well. And that's a very good point for me because I'm gonna be using that feature quite often. And there you go guys, a quick overview of this shop vac. I will leave a link to their website where they actually uh, bought it from and you can check it out yourselves. Obviously they've got other models as well, a bit more industrial, um, so you can check them out. It's not a review video, so obviously it's way too early to say anything. The only bad thing I've found uh, with it so far is the noise. It is very noisy, um, I was expecting to be a little bit better on that front. Uh, obviously the bags that come for the dust collections are quite expensive and to have the best out of this machine I would suggest buying the filter that I did um, for the uh, 0.3 microns so it, it will pick up 99 points whatever it was um, on the instruction so allegedly it's quite good and uh, we'll see that in practice over time obviously on bond storage so that makes uh, you know using this vacuum cleaner a little bit easier Obviously it's wet and dry, I'm not going to be showing off the uh, wet version, what you do basically when you see that filter, uh, you take it off and put the foam on and it sucks water, <laughs> that's about it. Obviously you've got the cap at the front, release that off, the water flows out, so if you've got any containers, anything that you need emptying or I don't know, your aquarium or something, um, it's probably going to do a decent job for you there. Um, but other than that, for 80 quid I think it's... Uh, hopefully will give me good results and as I mentioned um, somewhere in the middle of my video I will be actually doing a cyclone dust collection for um, a setup for this vac so make sure you subscribe to my channel uh, to not to miss that video and uh, we'll see how the vac will perform at that stage and obviously I will have a bit more time with this vacuum so I'll tell you if I found any more issues with it if you actually are interested in uh, this vacuum cleaner as the wet uh, vacuum cleaner, how it performs if, with water, let me know down in the comments. And I'll, uh, you know, there's uh, quite a few of you. I may actually do a video on uh, how it sucks water instead of dust. Um, so let me know uh, in the comments. Um, but for now, guys, that's it. And thank you very much for watching. Hopefully, I will see you next week on my next woodworking adventure. Till then, take care.